money pouch. There's 5,000 money inside for some some reason. And a pretty crystal that sparkles brightly when held up to the sun. And secret and some report too. What an oddity. A crystal orb. Wait up! Huh? Hey, Sora? What? Nothing, but... We came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh. Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. This is a completely black room. Huh? What is that? They're the same. Yeah. Three tickets, please. I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. Why not? You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's depart. Let's save first. got kind of scared. I thought I was still playing Birth by Sleep and I was about to save over another character's slot. Alright, let's ask. Is he ready? It's going to be a long journey, so prepare yourself well. I'm ready. There's nothing for me to do. Let's get out there. Okay, let's go. We have worlds to meddle in. Bye. Hey, Sora? You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. Shed a tear. Huh? You okay? It, yeah. Don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. Right. See ya. Feeling bad right about now. Really bad. It's probably a potion back there anyway. I'm not concerned about it. I did not ask for feels of this caliber. thought this was a normal train this is the ghost express
Guess that's that. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So, you think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. He's out. That's right. Thank screw you. Diz. What's this going to do? I mess him up. Wait a minute, who's that at the front door? <laughs> there goes our ride. Ooh, it looks like we're trapped. That's a pretty bad. The tower. This is technically in Twilight Town? Are you for real? Look at you guys wandering around like aimless sheep. Get the items. I also like how Sora's hair color kind of changed between the two games. He's now like more of a dirty blonde than a, a brunette. The a bit stupid. So I'd like he's inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh huh. Well. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. You just revealed oh, your genius plan. You squeaks anyway. Go on, Scram. I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. Well, we know. <laughs> Birth by Sleep really fills in those plot holes. You know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you <laughs> laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it! 
Well, we might have had something to do with it. The squirrel with them this is great. Heartless squad, round up! Ah, oh, it's the normal shadows, nothing major. Hell, I think the nobodies are way worse than the heartless. What happened to Pete? Pete disappeared. Combo boost, which I think adds one more stroke to my. All right. You just he took cover. Nobody, and I do mean but his heartless die. With the mighty Pete. So mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen. Yeah, the guy who does nothing. He's probably a heartless by now. What? You should know this. How could... Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. Nope. Bye-bye. <laughs> no one's interested in you. Yeah, so it's weird, because a lot of this stuff they patched up... So a lot of this stuff the characters should know, but they really don't, and they're getting it wrong. So it's a little weird. It's not perfect. Mithril. Yeah, it's a cube. The ether is a cube. So quick to save in this game. The load times for this game are not a problem. It's the load times for Birth by Sleep that are just, like, not good at all. This game has perfectly fine loading times. A door. What? Three heartless. Oh, I, as soon as I say something. Yeah, in some cases I like lock on off better. I'm weird like that. I find it easier to fight large groups with lock on off. Alright, it's time to meet the guy who did nothing to affect any of the story. He just sits in his tower all day and acts emo and grim. The big man himself. The man who made the rooms that start walking around and stuff, I think. Sat in his tower for the better part of ten years doing absolutely nothing. Oh, we're gonna have one more door. Oh, it's the, it's the night. I forget what they're called. Get him, Donald. Go! You're an animal. You're natural. Yeah, they're pretty... they're pretty hard. I just don't have the strength to kill them quickly yet. Why is he... He's hitting them again. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. 
So the worlds aren't at peace after all? All right, really quickly, let me see if I can put on combo boost. Oh, that's five. Increases the damage of the finishing move on the ground relative to the number of hits in the combo. Well, I don't really have any other hits in the combo to begin with. Uh-oh, switch between people. Do I still have... What's the Elven Bandana? Slightly increases defense. Let me give that to Donald. Until I can carry it. Wait, what? Oh, it's armor. So that way he doesn't die as quickly. He can actually do some work. Pushed me. He shoved me for damage. All right, we're here. Don't bow to him. He doesn't do anything. Master Redshed, it's an honor. Hey there. Sure, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the King has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon oh, my... Oh, I have to do some work. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. Oh, a book. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. All of it? Haha, <laughs> they'll never finish that. We will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. See how thick that book is? Sorcerer's Loft. I mean, obviously, they didn't write him into the story until literally right now, but when you think about it retrospectively, he literally sits here in this tower and does nothing for the better part of a decade while everything goes to shit around him. Which will you read? The beginning. The beginning. Each journey gives rise to a chance... Uh, to, to a chance. I'm already screwing up. To chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. 
There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness, friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Okay. The interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell hanging in the air in that world between. What is what is reality? What is illu illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps, for there all confusion will end. And the final part. The future story. Will the day come when this battle, born of confusion, will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason, the reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. None. This is a strange tower. I wonder why it was built. Adventuring rule number eight. Search every corner of a new place. We have to read that book like Master Yen Sid said. We've been asleep for a while, so we need to know what's going on. That doesn't help me learn what's going on. Actually. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. So basically all that was for naught. That must mean, if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now... It is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. Yourself. You are your own worst enemy. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Nope. More nobodies. Then, the being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusts. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The Hooded Men. The beings you see before you now are different. 
These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? No, nope, we haven't heard of them. No, we've never met them before. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is. Because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Yep. Those look a bit too small. That's a kid's you. attire. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh... I guess. <laughs> One full year he had a complete growth spurt. So, it's time to say goodbye to the famous costume that he wears in a ton of games. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Here we go. Something here. All right, let's change clothes. Who's here, dears? Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Oh, Ew, that's nasty. Too green, uh, too blue. Now, now, dears. They're just painting me with their colors. Don't you like this better? Hold on. <laughs> Poor guy. Ah, uh, would you just decide? <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. There we go. Now those are some duds. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Yeah, Super Saiyan! Whoa. Look at this! Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. 
Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sin. 